So you're thinking to get into the financial industry or maybe you already have your life license. I'm Tony Gutierrez, president of Leto Financial and Insurance Services. We are looking for agents and we're not looking for people to be a recruiter. Come inside with me, let me share some information with you. Let's go. When I started in the financial industry back in 2015, I started with my life license. The issue that I had back then is that I was being asked for a list of my friends and my families and I was only making 35% per case. 35% per case, it's nothing. It doesn't help me to stay in this industry and understand it. I am not against people earning money for helping me understand the industry. I don't agree with the fact that they were also asking me to recruit my friends and my family for me to earn a higher commission. Am I gonna focus on being a recruiter or am I gonna focus on being a financial professional? This is what I wanna to talk to you about right in this moment. Let's go inside. 2015 is when I first got my license to sell life insurance. I'm not gonna mention any names of companies. I am appreciative of everybody that helped me along the way. Whenever we sold the case, I was only making $250. The person above me was making maybe $400 and that's completely fine. But what I said earlier is they were asking me to recruit them. They were asking me to recruit my cousins, my friends. For me to recruit somebody, I have to know what I'm doing. I have to be able to feel confident to teach them how to make money in this industry. And the financial industry has become that. So revolving on recruiting agents and recruiting people that it's been left to the side the fact of training, understanding these products, understanding how to use a life insurance, understanding how to set up an IUL case, how to set up a whole life insurance policy, how to do a rollover from an annuity. This is the part of the life insurance industry. To me, in my perspective, it's missing. All because it's high revolving on recruiting, recruiting, recruiting. So how is someone gonna teach somebody how to make money when they're not making it themselves? Where are you having the confidence of really building it? Let off financial and insurance services. I established this corporation in 2016 in which things are run differently, especially for life agents. And if you're in this industry, we wanna talk to you if you wanna do it the right way. If you wanna become a professional, what do we got to offer? Let me sit down and let me tell you a little bit more. Training. This is the main area that we want to focus on. And I mean training, not training to recruit people, but training to become a professional, to become a life insurance professional, a financial professional. What's gonna happen here is I want you to understand the different strategies or ways that you can set up a life insurance policy. Maybe you wanna use it as a buy and sell agreement. Maybe you wanna use it as a business executive plan. Maybe you wanna use it for a mortgage protection plan. In the end is our training is focused and geared for you to become a professional in this industry, not a recruiter. What about compensation? Earlier I said I got paid 35%, true story. You may be going through it, maybe at a 35% compensation level or maybe less. We want to bring agents to stay in this industry, so we got to pay you more, and that is fine with us. We're going to start you at least at a minimum of 50%, five zero, no less than five zero, in which for your commissions to increase will not be based on recruiting. I keep on hunting recruiting, but this is for me, for me to you to understand. We don't want to work with recruiters. We want to work with professional agents. So if you can start at 50%, you can build a part-time income. In the meantime, you continue developing new clients and you can stay in this industry for a long time. My goal here is to work with business professionals, not with recruiters. Now, I also know you don't wanna have to write cases for the rest of your life. So we do wanna promote you once you get to the point to become a manager, to open up your own office. But before you wanna help other people, you need to help yourself. How are you gonna teach somebody make money in this industry when you're barely learning? So what I'm trying to tell you is yes, at some point, once you get to a certain amount of premium written, we will allow you to bring in other people so that you can teach them and help them understand what can they do in this industry? How can they make a living? But it's not from the perspective one more time, and I won't say it anymore, recruiting. We want you to know with us, you can open up your own office, you can help develop agents, but these agents are gonna have the same opportunity as you did, which is earn a decent income while they understand the products and you are running an office. Whether you are in California, in Texas, or in Arizona, you will have the opportunity to eventually open up your own location with us, with Little Financial and Insurance Services. Let's spend the last minute of this video talking about marketing. Because guess what? Maybe nobody's told you life insurance is not mandatory, and annuity is not mandatory, home insurance it is, 
auto insurance it is, but not life insurance. And this is where it gets a little bit tricky for agents to stay in this industry, is where are you gonna get the pipeline of clients coming in? Where are you gonna write the next case from? Well, we are here to support you with that as well. If you have an idea, maybe you wanna do a golf tournament or a fundraiser or a charity event, as long as the idea makes sense, we will put the money behind it to start it up and promote it so that you can generate cases from it. You get the idea, I am Tony Gutierrez, president of Leto Financial and Insurance Services. We are looking to expand the financial division and work with more professionals like yourself. I wanna to talk to you, set up that cup of coffee, let's get together.